If you want to see more quick tips for your favorite Clash Royale cards, please subscribe and hit the bell. Let's start the countdown. Number 15. Activate your King Tower by placing the Goblin Cage here and allowing that Electro Dragon to strike your tower. Number 14. If your opponent's push consists of multiple air troops, you can place the Goblin Cage near the center of the river to kite those air troops. Number 13. Although it can't die to any cheap spells, it can still work well in bait decks due to the fact that cheap spells that stun, distract, and slow troops can help counter it, such as the Barbarian Barrel and Snowball. Number 12. Beware of using your Goblin Cage when the enemy isn't threatening you. They could ignore the Goblin Cage and allow the Goblin Brawler to reach the their tower so they can tornado it. Number 11, it acts as a great furnace counter. Place it in this spot in the same lane with this timing to completely counter all fire spirit waves. Number 10, if the enemy's minor poison combo is becoming hard to counter with the troops you have, place the cage near your tower once you can tell that their miner's back in cycle. The cage will wait until the enemy uses their minor poison and the brawler will help defend or the cage will be just about ready to release the goblin brawler, preventing the enemy from sending their miner towards that tower longer buying you more time. Number 9. Try utilizing in 3 Musketeer decks, the Cage and the Goblin Brawler together absorb 2 Lightning Strikes. Number 8. This is the optimal placement when facing building targeting troops used at the bridge, such as Hog Rider, Battle Ram, and Royal Hogs. The Ram Rider will slow the Goblin Brawler down, however, so against her, place the Cage in front of the tower. Number 7. After the Goblin Brawler has finished attacking a troop, try to counter push with him. The Minor, Goblin Barrel, and other cards work well with him. Number 6. Against a Balloon, Make sure you place the cage 4 tiles from the river and 1 tile from your princess tower to pull it. This is great against La Balloon because not only does it pull that balloon, but the brawler can help defend against the tombstone skeletons. Number 5. The optimal placement against any tank is 3 tiles above the king tower centered towards the opposite side. Melee tanks will get targeted by both crown towers, not to mention the damage done by the goblin brawler. Number 4. When using this card as an offensive attack, place it as an investment and then build up a scarier attack in the other lane. The enemy will ignore the the Goblin Brawler while defending the scarier push if you will deal over a thousand damage left ignored. Number 3. This building should be mainly placed when a building targeting win condition comes on your side of the arena not as a pre-placement in the center before it appears. Otherwise, its short building lifespan will make the building weaker or will free the Goblin Brawler prematurely. Number 2. It's a great tool to defend against Siege cards with. When the enemy uses an Expo or a Mortar, drop it in the same lane as the Siege card and not towards the other lane. The Goblin Brawler won't distract the building in the other lane like an ice score, but he will back up your defenders when the enemy defends. And number 1. The Goblin Cage is classified as a passive building, so its pulling range is larger. This means placement such as this will pull troops like hog riders unlike regular defensive buildings.